Hey everybody, Dudge J here. Today I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a short guide as far as being able to take your pet and them learning new skills and abilities in classic WoW or any version of vanilla WoW in general and one of the principal ways to go about doing it. Also, I'll give you guys a resource that you can use to reference and cross-reference for your particular pet to make sure that you can land everything that you need to get from that rank one to the final rank of whatever ability it is that you're seeking. It's a nice little encyclopedia, but first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a visual reference. But uh, remember, if you like the style content, go ahead and give a thumbs up and subscribe, but we're gonna go ahead and dive in. Alright, so the very first thing that you have to do is you have to decide what pet you want. In this particular instance, I'm using a boar. Now, a boar naturally comes with the ability to uh, have a charge. You also can learn growl from your pet trainer at any time and rank that up as well, uh, starting with like a level 1 growl, and then you can get a level 2 growl at level 10. Now, those are all baseline abilities. Now, I want to expand the arsenal that my boar has, so the first thing I want to expand it to is that it can actually pick up a bite. But how do I go about doing that? Well, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go ahead and put my pet in a cage so that I can go and I can tame another pet. In this particular instance, I'm looking for a wolf over here in the Iron Forge, close to the Iron Forge area, and I'm going to tame it. From there, I tame it, and now it has the ability for bite, but I have to learn it, and that's going to take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to kind of drag this pet around, and I'm going to need to kill some mobs until I finally learn the ability for rank one bite. At that point, you can get rid of this pet. You don't need it anymore. You can abandon it right there. You have learned the rank one ability, and you go over into your little spell book. You open it up, and then you look for the pet training section, and then when you open that up, you'll see that you have the bite one that you can now apply to your boar when you get it out of the, the cage. Now, one of the questions that you may be asking is, how do I know what my pet is abilities are going to be? And that's a very good and solid question. Each uh, has its own family. So the boar has its own family of uh, and uh, spells and abilities that it can learn. It's all like a, a little subcategory. And the best way or best resource that I've found for this is this Petapedia. And if you look in the background here in just a second, I'll go ahead and show you that. All right, so what we're doing is we're actually looking at the different categories from here on the Petapedia site itself. Now, of course, I'm wanting boars because that's my animal. So I'm going to go ahead and select boars. And from there, you can see that the active abilities of all the ones that I can get is bite, charge, cower, dash, or growl. And then they also show you the different types of boars that you can get as well, which is actually really cool. It tells you their location so that you can tame those as well. And then it also shows you some of their passive abilities, which a lot of the pets will actually get as well. And then up here at the top, it shows you everything as far as its uh, health modifier, armor, damage, and stuff like that. You can see that the damage is low. This is kind of like a tanky build. So in this particular, our boars have really high health. They have decent armor, and then they do low damage. So they're definitely a tanky type uh, individual. It also tells you what they eat and stuff like that. But let's say, for instance, I wanted to go ahead and learn the dash, the rank one dash ability. All right, so if I wanted to learn dash rank one, I look down here and I start seeing through the site where I could actually do it and pick up the animal or animal type that's going to have it. So here we see an elder crag coyote. That's just for instance, that's one that we're going to pick that says rank one dash one. And from there, you can see that it's a wolf. It's 39 to 40 and it's out in the badlands. So at the time uh, when I get actually to that level, uh, around 39 or 40, I can go ahead and pick up Dash as well for my boar, but I could actually get it as early as or as soon as uh, the War Tiger in STV because that mob is only 32 to 33 in level, so that would help for Scarlet Monastery. I could go ahead and get Dash learned before I do all of Scarlet Monastery and all that fun stuff. But you can kind of see, if you go through the step process, I'm going to back up right here, you can see you can find all the active abilities for each class you got. We can also go over to the next one, let's do bears, and it'll show you the same thing. It'll show you that they have their, their abilities, their stat modifiers and everything. It'll show you what active abilities they can learn. As you can tell, bears don't actually learn a lot of active abilities. It's one of the reasons why it's not one of my favorite characters unless you want it for its look. But you can go through this whole process. You can look at the croc uh, crocodiles, you can look at the gorillas, whatever, and it can help you choose what kind of pet you want. And then, of course, rare pets have their place as well, which is something that we can look into into a future video. But anyway, 
Petapedia. I'm going to have that down as a link below to check out. It's a great resource. Uh, one of the things that I didn't show you is that it will actually show you the area. So let's say I wanted to learn uh, Cower. Okay, that'll be the next thing I want to learn. I can learn it very soon. I could actually get it now. And I wanted to go, say, get it from the Dortar Tiger. It'll show me Dortar. It'll pull up a map over on Wildhead, and it'll show the location of where all those tigers are so that it's easy to find a farm. It's a great resource, guys. I highly recommend it to tab it if you are a hunter up and coming in Classic or Season of Mastery. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is uh, Dungeon J. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Guys, have a great day gaming. Later. Just walking the line and there's nobody with me